Hello, Foxhound agents. I'm Hunter. It's time for Metal Gear Solid. So, last time I, uh, what happened again? Uh, I got out of, um, prison. Right. And then I ran over here because I thought that my timer was some kind of a timer for, I don't know, the nuclear missile. As it turns out, the timer is a bomb in your inventory. That's pretty silly. <laughs> anyway, uh, as I usually do, I uh, reviewed the footage from the previous mission, and I realized something. Actually, I, I did uh, kind of an extensive review around that area with the prison uh, to test what what happens, what your options in the prison are, uh, in including uh, what Hal Emmerich's plan was. So, anyway. What I realized was I think there's a way to get past the wolves. If, if you will allow me. And I think the theory is they won't attack me. Of course, I can't see where I'm going. Yeah, it works. Wow. Well, that's cool. Who's a good dog? I can't even see you. Where are you? It's kind of alarming, but... Aw, who's a good boy? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. And there's some kind of a lantern up here, it looks like. Ah, I can't see anything. See, there's like a light right there. Although I can't even see it when I'm looking straight at it. All right, so the handkerchief... There you go. I figured out what the handkerchief does. It makes you completely blind in this area with the wolves. Uh, in other news, I do have a level 6 card now, and uh, if I wasn't in such a hurry, I definitely would have checked the area around the armory for doors. I think there might possibly be a door down where the armory is, in addition to a bunch of ammo, but... but I'm going to try and live without it. What the? What? What? <laughs> what just happened there? <laughs> I don't have an R... Uh, I don't have a radar. Uh, I still can't see it. Also, is there anywhere past... any way to get past that? Oh, there's a camera up there. All right. Can I even see my health? No, I can't. Why can't I see my health? Rations. Oh, there it is. Health, yeah. Yeah, all right. Anyway, there's a level 6 door up here. May as well restock on the things that are here. How do I get that? something under the stairs, right? Okay. Not that I needed it, but I'm just checking it. Okay. Okay. 
Also, I'm assuming we don't have anything to say right here. To get to the underground base where Metal Gear is. Yeah, we heard all that. Plan your strategy based on the enemy's positions. Try to think like the enemy commander would think. If you can put yourself in the map designer's mind, a lot of doors will open for you. <laughs> okay. This guy's too much. He's just beating them, beating that uh, poor, th poor fourth wall to death. Once you give up hope, it's all over. That's when you can't do anything right. Despair leads to death, you know. Hmm. You've got to believe. If you believe with your whole heart, you will succeed. That's a bunch of baloney right there. Sometimes in combat, or when you're near the end of your rope, you can see things that normally aren't there, or shouldn't be there. Relax. It's not a bug. It's just the mysteries of the human mind. What does that mean? Some things that I can only do when I'm near death, or in combat? Also, for that thing about believing, it means you can succeed, not that you will succeed. But some things you just can't succeed at. Doesn't matter if you believe you're gonna win the lottery. I mean, that's just, you know what I mean? Think about something terrible that happened in your life. Everyone has had something bad happen to them. It'll help take your mind off of the misery of the battlefield. Oh, God. The misery of the battle... You know what? This battlefield is just fine with me. Real life is a lot worse. I'll, st I'll, I'll, I'll take the battlefield, thank you very much. A real master of warfare alters his strategy to cope with changes in the battlefield conditions. If you always follow the book, You'll be transparent to your enemy. Hmm. Get into a box. Gotcha. Sometimes in combat, or when you're near the end of your rope, you can see things that normally aren't there, or shouldn't be there. What does that mean? So, the terrorists intentionally set their deadline to coincide with the signing of the START Three Accord. According to the terms of Star 3, both Russia and the U.S. are to reduce the number of their nuclear warheads in deployment to between 2,000 and 2,500 missiles. The current president has not yet had any major foreign policy successes. His term will be up soon, and the word at the White House is that he desperately wants this one for the history books. Typical politician. It is a big concern for him and his supporters. Yeah, it's a big thing that we've got going on. It's happened since since ancient times. Politicians are kind of as concerned with how greatly they will be perceived as they are with actually getting anything done. And to some extent, the appearance of a victory is more important than victory itself. The signing of the START 3 was dependent on ratification of the START 2, but nerves were the most important weapon in Russian arsenal. Naturally, the conservatives in the Russian parliament were greatly opposed to disarming them. The expansion of NATO, along with tension caused by disagreements over the application of the ABM Treaty with regards to TMD systems, made ratification in the 1990s difficult. It took a tremendous amount of pressure and secret negotiations to get the Russians to sign the START 3 tomorrow. But the political situation in Russia is tenuous at best, and one small incident could bring the signing to a crashing halt. If the Russians learn that America has secretly developed a new type of nuclear weapon, there is no telling how they might react. World opinion will be strongly against us, too. That liquid snake is a smart one. He knows the political climate. He's 
actions were obviously very well calculated. Yeah, so the uh, as I as I said earlier, obviously it would not look good if uh, Metal Gear was disclosed to to the public. And then uh, Ocelot, who I may or may not have allowed to finish speaking <laughs> in in uh, during the torture. He said that he wants Rush to be reborn. I don't know if that's what Liquid Snake wants, or... But, but anyway, I guess their idea is that they're creating a, uh, pressure to get what they want by putting the treaty in jeopardy. So that makes some kind of sense. And by the way, Nastasha, I noticed that rogue apostrophe would mean a reduction in nuclear missiles, but it would still leave between 4,000 to 5,000 missiles between the U.S. and Russia alone. That is more than enough to destroy every living thing on this planet several times over. There is a big difference between nuclear reduction and nuclear elimination. Yeah, that's so true. Uh, you know, speaking about the thing, uh, Russia signing the treaty and how difficult it was and how dependent they are on MERBs or whatever she was saying, I get the impression that Russia did, uh, because of turmoil in Russia in the 90s, they probably were a little bit more pliable or receptive to ideas, shall we say, during that time than they were as the Soviet Union or perhaps since that time, as they've become more, well, I don't know, they've sort of, I don't want to say they've, uh, their positions have become more firm over time. And they don't seem to be terribly interested in being cooperative as far as nuclear weapons go, or in many others, many other things, that uh, Russia considers itself an antagonist of, uh, of of the West, and you know sometimes it's no big deal, but sometimes uh, there can be real uh, consequences to that kind of uh, um, contrary uh, action. Negotiations for Start Three began in the late 1990s. The Russian president had actually been pushing for a much more ambitious arms reduction pact. But it was rejected by the Americans. America was the sole remaining superpower on the Earth, and they were not too eager to give up the title. The fact is, in the history of the world, no dominant power has ever willingly given up the reins of that power. In the case of the U.S., that means nuclear superiority. Yeah. Makes sense, right? The, uh, the the arrogance, the self the, the self interest is just uh, the hubris. It, it will rule. It will master every everyone who who was in power. He didn't spell reigns right either. So I'd like to get to do some other things here, but I'm kind of concerned that if I go into the next area everyone will stop talking about this and then I won't be able to hear it anymore, so... There has been a lot of effort to reduce the number of strategic nuclear weapons, but even today, there is no treaty limiting tactical nuclear weapons. It may look from the outside that the world is disarming, but in fact, nuclear weapons are not going anywhere soon. wonder if that was what she said uh, true about uh, probably Yeltsin. Uh, wanting a much more extensive disarmament treaty. Come on, how could you not take that deal? There's no point to nuclear weapons if you're not willing to use them. And if you're willing to use them, then, well, you're a bad person. So, therefore... The nuclear age is not over yet. As long as one country in the world has nuclear weapons, they will never go away. Yeah, you know, we're just, uh, 
We're just, we're treading water on this, or maybe we're going backwards. Nuclear technology is fascinating, and it could probably be used for some positive things, but blowing things up and radioactivity, I mean, there's some downsides to the technology as well, and uh, unfortunately, society in general doesn't seem to have the maturity to handle it. I mean, I guess we should count our blessings that we're not having nuclear wars, but really, we're not doing too much better. The signing of the START 3 was dependent on ratification of the START 2. Oh, yeah! If you go straight down the underground passageway north of the cave... Yes, I am there. All right, these guys aren't going to answer. I'm All right, so... Oh, it's so dark in here. Why am I... What is this, a gas mask? What's going on here? Can't use the Nikita. Is that a clue? They don't want me to do something here. Something I need to shoot from a distance? Gas mask. I'm looking out of a box. Seriously, what is this view I've got here? Okay, how do I... No. There we go. I want to look around the corner, come on! I'm not allowed to look around, look around the corner, and my radar's not working. Great. And there's another level six door. Here's some creepy music to go along with it. Oh, what on earth? What? Oh, hi. Where, where the heck am I? Ah. I think... Whoa! I seem to be having a sound issue here. Come on, shoot him. Am I supposed to just keep waiting for them to come? Or am I supposed to hide? I'm just killing a bunch of guys here. Still under alert. I don't know. These guys have a lot of health, or armor. Ah! You know what? Ow. Yeah, the alert's not going away. I'm stuck on the stairs. Okay, I need a different weapon. This one's empty. Let's go, let's go. Running out of rations. This guy's still alive. What do I do? Hey, come on, come on. Ow! Don't get stuck on the stairs! Come on, come on. Alert, alert, alert. Oh, don't get stuck on the stairs. Come on, man. Okay. Come on. Come 
Get out of my way! Ah! I can honestly say that was no fun at all. I thought this was a stealth game. Alright, well, now that I know that's happening... What do I do about it? I honestly felt that the SOCOM was kind of easier to control. Helps with your uh, aiming. As far as dealing with those guys goes. Okay, how do I get out of here? And I go up the stairs. I mean, if I kill these guys, more are just going to spawn, so I may as well just run, right? Also, these guys have terrible aim while I'm moving. Okay. Here's where the fun ends. Just get out of the way. Also, I need this now. This is a very tall tower. Okay, here's a great place for me to have my card out when I don't have my card out. Here's a great place for me to use rations. Action key, come on. There we go. Uh, let's have another one. Yeah, those are delicious. Alright, let's get the card out. I need to fight these guys. Call. Snake, that's the door to the walkway. It won't open, even if I use the card. Huh? Oh, that's right, I totally forgot. Do you know something? That door sometimes gets frozen shut because it's so cold outside. Next time, tell me beforehand. So what should I do? It's impossible to open from the inside. They always use C4 or something from the outside. From the outside? You can't open it from the inside? Sorry, it's impossible. But don't worry, you'll get through. There are two walkways that connect Tower A and Tower B. The other one's on the roof. You should just use the walkway on the roof. Ugh. <sighs> Really, they use C4 on the door? Ah, oh, the door is stuck again. Here, let me get my C4. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I, I, I guess I get the rations out. I don't know. I guess I don't really know. So calm. On. Get out of the way! That would be a great time to get out of the way. Okay, now would be a great time to equip those rations. There must be a good way to do this. You know what's really sad is I even knew this was coming and I still don't know what to do about it. Although I do have to I do have to say this is solidly not fun. I yeah, I don't know. I'm not feeling it. Can't see where the hell I'm going. There's no stealth action. These guys are just respawning. Don't stand there, go! Ah, uh, go to hell! Okay, let's see. Get the rations out, because I need rations to survive this. And the sound doesn't work, for some reason. 
I mean, it's the game's fault, right? Come on, shoot him! Come on! Just get out of the way, I don't care. Not interested! Aim! Aim! Just go! I don't care! Ow. Come on, come on. How are you supposed to get through all these guys? What the hell? Snake! Are you enjoying this? Because I'm not. I am not enjoying this at all. I mean, I guess I need to call people. Maybe they'll say, Snake, that is a really ridiculously tall staircase with respawning enemies. You must use your XYZ. That's what I forgot to do. I gotta call people. They're gonna give me the secrets to getting through this very uh, exciting, shall we say, part of the game. I'm so excited, I'm just about to fall asleep. Next time on Metal Gear Solid, I am going to get to the roof somehow. I don't know. I don't know if they have anything to say or not. Maybe I'll just run through that staircase over and over and over again until I somehow manage to run past all of them. I don't know. This game is not really set up for fighting. It's more set up for stealth, but all right, whatever. I'll do my best. Hopefully I don't just die over and over again, because that's not very interesting to me, but that's how it goes. Uh, let's see here. Okay. What can I do for you, Snake? Gather ye rosebuds while ye may. Old time is still a flying, and this same flower that smiles today, tomorrow will be dying. Snake laughter is the best medicine. You should be happy you've got enough free time to play a game. Enjoy yourself, okay? Man, this game has no respect for the fourth wall at all. <laughs>